Hey there folks, this is Green XI, welcome you right back to Let's Play Skies of Arcadia. This is episode 44. In the last episode, we had the, the ship battle to end all ship battles. <laughs> I guess the Hydra, uh, Galcia, Galcian controlling it. And I think this is meant to be on board the Hydra itself as well. It's called, when you go to a save file, Galcian ship or something like that, but I think that is, that is just the, the Hydra. Anyways, let's head on down. I've been told in the comments that the last of the Moonfish is behind us, it would have been on Drachma's Island. Uh, not Drachma. The island that we went to to go on the monorail and all that. Uh, the, the elevator and all that sort of stuff. Just before this, I spun. Sort of saying. <laughs> so, what we're going to be doing today is checking out this place and hopefully we'll be able to get all of it done. I imagine we'll have random encounters, right? Do you think? There's two ways to go. We'll try the other way first. Unless there's a pole this way as well. No, it's just, just good. X cannon. Nice. I think that's... Yeah, that's what we've been using already, you know. I'll check it just in case. But, yeah, it is. You never know. There might have been, like, a, an alternative version of it that was... Better. I don't... <laughs> you never know. <laughs> anyway, the return of the random encounters. Oh, my God. We haven't had one of these for a few parts now, I don't think. Because we when we went to the Silver Shrine, you know, it was encounter free. Anyways... Let's check out what we got here. I think what we could do is just use physical attacks for the first turn. And then second turn I'll use um, uh, Vises. Vises Uber move. And maybe that'll be enough to finish the fight. We'll we'll find out. What we go with him? Gunsling. I think that's a straight line. Yeah. Won't bother with that. We'll try that. So, like I said, for this turn, just physicals. The thing is... They seem to be doing a lot of damage when it says like over 400 damage with a physical attack. It's a fair bit, but our health is really growing and growing, so it's not not such a not such a huge chunk anymore like it used to be. I can't remember. I get the impression you could have switched your fourth party member before coming here by going onto your ship and going to the bridge and that sort of thing. Uh, but if Enrique can heal us outside by here. Maybe not for this part. Maybe it's for the next part after this place. I'm not 100% on it, to be honest. I would choose Gilder anyway. Gilder is my favourite of the three. So. This, that. Pirate's Wrath. Nope, not Pirate's Wrath, Rain of Swords. That's the one. Bloody hell, man. I think I would have learnt it by now. Right, she's going to defend because she's getting hurt a lot, so. Okay, we'll go for this. Nice. A little bit of damage. Not as much damage as I thought it would have done. But the others should hopefully be able to finish. Not finish the fight in this turn, but, you know, finish it. Soon. Ooh, Electrum. I haven't seen this move for a while. Yeah. <laughs> that would be why he's weak as hell by this point. Nice. Get rid of the big guy. I get the impression then these fights that we got coming up, they're gonna be long if this one's anything to go by. But it, you can expect it by this point. And we haven't done all the optional stuff and all that sort of stuff, so you know, you can expect it to be a little bit a little bit trickier, maybe, than I could have made it. Huh, that was easy. Yeah, it wasn't too bad actually. I wonder if maybe it would have been worthwhile using an Increm at the start instead. Because we've got loads of MP by this point, so... Yeah, maybe. Anyways, let's keep on going. The only way we haven't been is up here. Okay. Now we've gone up the Feynman's pole. <laughs> let's head over here. Uh, ooh, is there anything at the dead end? I'll keep on checking, even when I know that there shouldn't be. Ah, ladder! So we've done a five-month pole, now it's time for a ladder. <laughs> right, here's the spice of life, right? <laughs> okay, where are we going to end up now? Ooh, outside. Very nice. So let's check this way first. Okay, can. Can't go under the cannon. 
uh, what's the word for it? The actual cannon. <laughs> Ah, new enemies. Two magic look looking things. We gotta be careful now because we got a back attack as well. So ooh. Okay, that's a fair bit of damage. Um so yeah, we're gonna take loads of damage this turn, but we'll also get a bit of SP out of it, I guess. I get the impression that guy, the big guy, is gonna be a right little shit. In that you know, he's going to have a lot of health and all that sort of stuff. So I think I will try killing them off in one go, if I can. I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. But They always use that silence move on Fina, and it never works for them because, well, we got the accessory on. There we go. Okay, so let's go for a Reign of Swords, I think, first. And a, he a bit of healing, I think, with Sacrum. You, you can just... Ooh. She might just about need to do some physical attack in after Reign of Swords. Yeah, Fina should be able to finish off one of them. And the big guy I'm got as much health as I imagined he would have. Given the amount of that amount of the health bar that went down then. There we go. Another crystal and on her again. What did it do? About 800 damage? Yeah. Bloody hell, man. This is why I'm trying to heal with her because she's got an infinite amount of MP with her ability. So, in my opinion, still my opinion, yeah, it's the best thing to do. I know Fina's got a lot of MP, but it's not infinite. Death tackle. Oh god. He's got a deathy move. Don't like it when they got deathy moves. Especially when it got long animations for Ooh, there we go. Yeah, especially when it's got a long animation for a random encounter. That's not that's not what I want. Alright, okay, so what can we do here? I think a rise then might do it. Yeah, let's go for that. And then everyone else can just do some attacks. Try and whittle his health down a bit. Yeah, yeah, it feels like a mini boss, doesn't it? <laughs> but that was a lot of damage, and it was in a straight line kind of thing. So bloody hell. Insane. Like, if they wasn't weakened already, it, it wouldn't have killed Iker off. But still. Death tackle. Oh, here we go again. He knows what works. Right, okay. That's fine. We can heal up after the fight by just healing everyone. So it's not an issue, really. Right, so if we go for a Cutlass Fury, everyone else can defend, and I think that should be able to do it, right? Yeah, just about, I think. Sorted. Oh my god, though. These are going to be... It's going to be a tough area. Not that much EXP out of it either. Noxus, okay. Needs to learn one more green for me to be happy with his green being done. Um, anyways. Let's get healing, like I said. Uh, one more, go on. Here we go. That's fine. What should we do next? I think going down here will be next. It'll take us back to the area we were in before, but we only explored that tiniest bit of it, so it's good to go back down, right? Yeah, that sped up the, the ladder that time as well. Okay. But yeah, didn't get much EXP out of that fight, considering it wasn't an easy one. And another pole to go down again if we wanted to. Oh, it's a lot of options here. Yeah, let's go down again then. <laughs> right. Where was I going? Over here. <laughs> That's the issue with having longer fights. Ooh, trust chest. Moonberry. Yes, this might be the last one needed, right? I think. Yes, it is. Guild calls in the Claudia and fires all of her cannons. Attacks all enemies. 18 SP. 
but it gives him a move that hits all enemies if our SP really does go up that high and everything. Which I'm hoping it does reach that point. <laughs> now and again, would be nice. Yeah, nothing over there. Another chest chest. Sacrum Crystal Temple. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Healing items are always welcome. Fina learned Pyro Land then, the new fire move. So, there's that. So if we go back up the, the pole now, I'm trying to think what the next sort of floor looked like in terms of layout. Um, I'm looking at the mini-map, of course, but uh, it was, that's where we came from, from outside. So let's try across here, is it? Where can we go? Let's try this way first, maybe. Oh, nothing there. Never mind that. <laughs> we'll go the other way then. I guess it's, oh, nothing here either. Back outside then? We've been everywhere by you, right? Yeah, that's, I think that's all we can do. We've got some good items. We've got some healing items. We've got a Moonberry out of it, so I'm quite happy we're going down there. And some EXP. You know, I was saying not very good for EXP this area. I guess it ain't too bad. Like, I think I was thinking of, of of boss EXP amounts and stuff like that for some reason. Again, we haven't had many random encounters for a while, so maybe that's why I sort of thought about that. Is that everything this way? It seems to be... Well, you know what? Luna Light is proving to be pretty indispensable for me right now. <laughs> I'm really reaping the benefits of rushing through the game a little bit. But we'll keep on tracking. We got like over a thousand XP from that fight, so I, I, I meet in my words right now. What's over that way? Is there anything else? There is another way in. Should we try this way for now? Wow, we're right by it. Okay, what have we got around us now? Go to the dead end first. I like to get a minimap filled in a little bit at least. And we'll go further down. Why not? Seems to be a pattern going on here. <laughs> don't. No, we don't. Alright, where can we go? Where can we go? Only one way. Alright then. Oh no. No, can't go across the bridge. That's good to know. Chest, chest. Yes, we came the right way. Magic dues. Very nice. Get some MP back if we ever need it. They're the ones to give you 10 MP, aren't they? I don't think we've seen an item yet which restores all of a character's MP, have we? Or am I just forgetting? It might be. Might have even used one. You never know. <laughs> Alright, that was good. I'm glad we went that way first. So, funnily enough, the way you have to go is the one furthest away from the lad who go up, <laughs> pretty much. I'm glad of that. I like to go to dead ends first. Right, let's go along here then. And Vi's learnt Pyro Land there. The new fire move that Fina just learnt. They're all, you know, getting there. The thing is, we've got three characters with Three characters? Yeah, three characters with red magic on, so they're going to be learning it quick. Or they should. I don't know if we're going to be able to learn the next red one by the end of the game, but we can try. Okay, dead end first. Don't know if I really want to go down the pole on the end yet. There's nothing over there, but there could be something further on. What do you reckon? Let's, let's try it. Nothing in there. This might be the way we're meant to be going now, do you reckon? I reckon it could be. Let's go the other way. <gasps> From that fight, I got a new gun for our Gilda. This is exactly the sort of thing I want. Um, oh, well, it's a lot worse. I mean, it hit is double, you know, that's good. Can cause instant death with a good shot as well. I think I'd rather have the continuous damage because the Claudia, especially, I don't know if it's based on strength, I imagine it probably is. Um, yeah, um, I'd rather have the continuous sort of strength boost. I gotta heal up. I nearly forgot then. Uh, yeah, Sacrum. Is that enough? It'll do for now. Yeah, the enemies around you are pretty tough. I, I should really level grind around you, I think. It's not going to happen. <laughs> it might do. I don't know. Maybe I'll... After recording this episode, if the save point is still around enemies, then... Yeah. We'll, maybe I'll have, like, five to ten fights or something off camera. 
Oh, we came back for nothing except for peace of mind, and that's that's what counts the most. What do I think about this dungeon? I mean, there's nothing exciting. I guess it's a bit mazy-ish if the minimap wasn't there. Um, yeah, I guess maybe the point of this dungeon. Right, is to take you back to the vibe of the very first dungeon that you have when you're on that airship with Alfonso. You know, all mechanised, it's an airship. That sort of thing. Because this, I don't know if this technically counts as the last dungeon or, or not. But. Ooh, that's got to be where we've got to go. So we'll go the other way. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe that's the whole point of this dungeon. Okay. So, my character's died quite a bit, because it was those assassinator um, enemies that can kill you in one go. Gilda died a lot, and at the end of it goes, I wish they could all die that easy. <laughs> I mean... Wow, I'm going to leave this one in. Look at this. This is going to be a hell of a fight. Wow. Okay, we'll get some attacks in for the first one. I don't know why I'm splitting attacks up. Let's just attack the same enemy because they got so much health anyway. But go for that. And I think it's probably the most logical way to do it. The thing is, if this enemy... Oh, shit. I should have thought this a little bit better. If the three enemies use that death strike tackle thing... All in a row. We're screwed. Like, we could be screwed. Oh, good. Just an attack. But I wonder if that's possible. I wonder if the enemies can have that level of common sense. <laughs> but no, they don't They don't seem to. So that's good. So I'm thinking. Use a couple of attacks. Good. He's, he's going down in the next turn. That's amazing. Um, we're going to get our... Should be okay. We'll use a Cutlass Fury. We'll use a physical attack on the on him. And him. And we get oh shit, we're just under the amount of needed SP. That's fine. The Claudia uses a lot of SP, I mean 18, but it hits all enemies and it hits like a truck at the same time. So I think this is a good way to go about it if the Claudia gets in in time. And a crit. That's perfect. I think there should be one of them left at the end of this fight. Uh, at the end of this round, I mean. Well done, Fina. You, you do you. I wonder if it's... I might as well just make a defend, maybe. Oh, okay, mate. Does that really matter? Silence. Probably not. Not in this fight. Christ, these are, these are hella tank enemies. Like I said, though, I... I wonder if maybe you can kill them in one go. When it's three of them, maybe that's a bugger. But, you know. That normally does more damage, but obviously, like I said, tanky. Tanky enemies. So, if we go for... No, we're going to use physical attacks this turn. But as for you, 18 SP, going to use Lunar Light to get everyone's health back up for the end of the fight. They might get hurt a bit before the end now, but I think it's worth doing. We won't have to worry about healing after it then. No crits. <laughs> I would like to crit, but Gilda should finish this off now. Yeah, there we go. Very good. That was easy. I won't mind speeding Gilda up a bit, maybe. More with like seeds and stuff like that. More stat increase items, but can't see us getting many more of them in the game now. All right, let's see what's actually in you. The central room on the minimap, the circle. Made it to a save point. That's gotta be a, that's gotta be a sign. All right, let's save them. Uh, yeah. Am I gonna carry on a little bit longer until the next save point? I think. go. Oh, we're going back outside. At least that gives you some sort of indication that you're going the right way. Like, there's certain things in games like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, where you just never know if you're going the right way. 
It, it, it might just be me and my sense of direction, but I don't even pick up on things that say, this is the right way. Even if you open a gate that lets you backtrack easier, I still don't think that's completely the right way necessarily. It might be optional. Anyways, yeah, we've got to break down that door. No? Oh, he's coming through. He's coming through for us. I think it's boss time. I didn't heal up before the fight, but we did use Lunar Light, so we're good. MP-wise, maybe not so much, but otherwise. Actually, MP, I think we should be okay as well. Galcyon! Hello. I think it's time. And, um... It's going to be a tough boss, you know it. They've built him up so much. If it's not a tough boy, a tough boss. Be a little bit odd. I did not realise that there were still this many people foolish enough to resist me. Yeah, apparently there are. And you guys have caused me more trouble than anyone. Thanks, it's an A-Pirate's duty to cause trouble. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> Sucky little shit. But there's one more thing I'd like to accomplish. I want to rid the world of you. Very amusing, but this world shall be mine. It's a pity you won't be around to see it. Now you shall feel my wrath. Look. Yeah. Okay. It is time to die. Let's have a little look at him then. Galsium. Yeah, I mean... It's not much I, not too much I want to actually do this first round, so yeah, I'm going to do the usual and hope that it's for the best. I seem to remember, yeah, I seem to remember him being able to get rid of buffs and stuff like that, but we'll find out. Yeah, good, start with a good income. Okay, just in time for him to actually get his attack in. And a normal physical attack with Increm on it did a decent amount of damage to his health bar, so... I mean, he's obviously going to do a ton of damage back to us, so we'll be healing a lot, I think. But, you know, if we can keep that level of damage up, it'd be nice. Let's see what he's got. Terminal. <laughs> Sounds deadly. Whoa, it's going to be a long animation. I hope we don't use this too often. It's the thing about 3D RPGs. You can really go all out and too far with this sort of thing. It, really, it just bores me once I've seen the animation more than once. Just on one character? It looks like a move that should hit all of them. But no, just on one. Okay. Didn't even kill him off either, so it's pretty nice. Let's keep on going with physical attacks for now. Um, yeah, as for you, ooh, no. I got an idea here. I think we should do it as well. So let's heal up with, a, not Sacrum, Sacral and Crystal, just on our, our guild of it. You can defend Fina because that was a lot of damage, so I think she's going to be defending a lot during this fight, but... Oh, whoa, no. Speedy. Is it on Gilda again? I think it is, but what did that do? I had to look away for a sec. It's important. <laughs> oh, okay. Did it just take off in creme from him? He might have done. Oh, it's defending. It didn't take off in creme, man. Is is his counter stance? Is it? It's gonna be a bit of a bugger if we have a turn where we use a lot of SP against him. These counters aren't bothering me though too much. So. Pyrotrath, let's try it out. Um, what else can we do? I don't really want to use magic damage. I want to keep my SP and stuff for, like, healing. Preferably. <laughs> to be blunt about it. Um, blocks all adverse, non adverse effects. I mean, we haven't seen he does that sort of stuff quite yet, so just another attack, I guess. 
Yeah, cabs. Yeah, look at that damage. A lot of damage, but... Hmm. It's going to take, like, four more of that to kill him off. Yeah, good. We're sitting. I might be with that. I guess we'll have to get the Inquims back up soon. Nearly enough for Pirate's Wrath, so let's get some attacks in. Um, if we use an Inquim, will it boost like the length of time it'll take? Will it add on top, is what I'm trying to say. Until we run out. Fingers crossed. No. <laughs> There's our answer. Electron? Good. Keep using that. So far, I haven't seen a hugely bad move from him. I'm assuming he will get a move that hurts everyone for a ton. We're too near the end of the game for him not to have something like that. <laughs> I should just use it once to test it. Oh, I should have tested it a long time ago in the game. Maybe. But I didn't. Nice. About a thousand damage in the turn. It's good when that happens. So next up we'll go for a Pirate's Wrath for sure. Um, wait. Yeah, Inkrem's still on. I, sorry, I should really know by now how long Inkrem lasts. But I don't. Defend, defend, attack. Yeah, get out of here. Look at that. Two more, I would think. Pirate's Wraths. You turn them. Oh no. But it's only single target to turn them. So. There we go. Good. Does that count as like an adverse effect that she blocks or not? No. Let's defend, defend. I know I could be attacking with, with the two mages as well, but. Let's be safer, I think. I'm just glad he used to turn him against Fina. That's probably, probably the best case scenario with that move. Ooh, Neglora, a new move. Is this the one that's gonna hit everyone? Our health is doing pretty well. We're defending with two characters, so we should be fine. Nice looking move. Looks like a. It almost looked like a, a flower made of ice. That was quite nice. Just did barely anything. That's the move that takes off um, Incram, all that sort of stuff. Boosts, buffs. So now we've lost that sort of stuff, have we? Yeah, there it goes. Okay, that's fine. Do I want to use Pirate Trap this turn? No, I don't think I will. I think what I'll do is get Incram at this turn. And then use Pirate Trap next turn. It, it sounds good to me, anyway. I guess I could use the Claudia, but why? I just why? Just do it. Do Pirate's Wrath next. It was tempting, mind. <laughs> just to get that damage in. Just seeing the damage. Tempting. Three. I wonder how often he's going to use that move that gets rid of all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Turn is. Ooh, is this the one that hits everyone? It is. Oh no, this could. So long, so long as Fina lives, really, is the main thing. Okay, only one down. That's, that's fine. <laughs> right, so let's go for a pirate trap. It's not gonna kill him off yet, anyway. And with you, my lady, we're gonna use a rise limb crystal because we've got tons of them, so I'm not too bored about running out or anything like that. Okay. 
Okay, he nearly died. Right, we revived her first. God for that. Terminal. Right, this is the one that hits one character, right? <laughs> so dramatic. Ooh, Fina. Probably a good choice to hit for him. <laughs> More no max HP. Yeah. The one time I don't defend with her. Right, this turn we are. Uh, yeah, we'll vice lamb it. Everyone can defend. I I think the vice lamb would have worked first anyway. But I don't want to risk it. The only thing is, we're giving the boss, well, you know, giving him a chance to get another attack. In, but we'll see how it turns out. Oh, yes! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's not the smart smartest of people, is he? Oh, that wasn't quite enough. Yeah, this will do it. Nice. There we go. We're done. That wasn't too bad of a fight. I was expecting a really hard boss out of him. That wasn't so bad. No, he really wasn't so bad. Ooh, look at the XP and money. Not that I expect to spend any more money in the game. But, value and medallion. Okay. We did it! How could this be? I'll not be defeated. Your reign of terror is over. I don't think so. You may have won the battle, but I shall have my revenge. Uh oh. What's he doing? We've already fought the ship. The bridge? Fools, when will you realise that you cannot stop me? Now I shall destroy every last one of you. What's he up to? He's got an escape pod. Makes sense, I guess. We still haven't found a way to get into... Uh, into that barrier, have we? Or have I missed something? I thought he was too arrogant to have an escape pod. Vice is getting away. We have to do something. If he gets away, he'll retreat back to Saltis and we'll never get a chance to stop him. The other pirates are tied up fighting with the Armada. Hmm? What's that? <gasps> it's the penis ship! It's Belize's ship. Yeah, that's what I said. Hey, something's not right. You don't think... Lord Galcium. What? 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 <laughs> Belize, you survived the attack on Valor? Yeah. Lord Galcium, so many innocent people died by your hand. Women and children bled to death in the streets. As an admiral of the Armada, I feel that I'm responsible for their deaths as much as you are. Goodbye, my love. What's she doing? What? Ah, crashing into it. I see. Self-sacrifice. Oh, Belize. Uh, but that's Galcian gone. The one you would think would be the last boss. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for the Silver Gigas still being around and all that sort of stuff. That's a nice effect. 
He looks proper Wild Arms 3-ish then for a second. The Cell Shady vibe. She sacrificed her own life to stop Galcian. Oh, Beliza. Oh. She wasn't such a bad guy. And now he's lost his master. What's he gonna do? <laughs> oh god. No! Why? Uh, Alright, we get the point. <laughs> Lord Galcian, you should be avenged. Oh my. Destroy the world! Guys, something bad's happening. Um. Yes. Oh, it is firing all lasers for every continent, is it? We saw it end, Valor. Ben Rivers is going to use the veins of destruction again. There's nothing we can do to stop him. Ben Rivers, please. Elders. Oh no! What's wrong, Fina? Vice luck. Oh shit. That looks like more than the rain of fire. destroying the shrine. Fina, Saltus used to be our home. We created it from nothing, and now we must destroy it. For a thousand generations, we have judged the people of this world. Everything we have created, Saltus, Zealous, the rains, was all because these people did not measure up to our standards. But perhaps we were wrong. Fina, by believing in the people of the world, you have taught us a great deal. Aww. I mean, not many people live there anymore, anyway. We sent you here to help us destroy the world, but now we are going to help you save it. There is no need to be sad. If we had not created the reins of destruction, destruction, the world would not be in jeopardy. Chaos! Please, for the sake of the future, for the sake of the world, you must prevail. We will. We will prevail. I see. That's how they get rid of the barrier. Why did I not... Why did that not click with me until it actually happened? <laughs> I can normally see ahead with, like, JRPG cliches. Especially when I've played the game before. <laughs> Granted, it was a long time ago, but... Oh, That's essentially the second, co the second of the six lands destroyed, right? The silver one's gone as well now. Yellow and silver.
Fina. The elders, they finally believed in the future. They sacrificed themselves to give us a chance at saving the world. I'll make sure their sacrifice was not in vain. Boy, it looks like it's finally time to go to Saltus. <laughs> I guess now we're going to have our choice of the fourth character. I couldn't remember when we had the choice, so... You know. We've defeated the Armada. Most of the ships fled once the Hydro was destroyed. It's time to go to salt this boy. Look over there. Final dungeon coming! Like, I wasn't sure whether to include the Hydra as it, because it's so close, kind of thing. Yeah, Shrine Island. So Shrine Island was a part of salt this. Maybe I'll be able to get into salt this through there. I'll go with you. I may be old, but I can still fight better than most men. Mm, yeah. The rest of us will wait here in the ship. If you want any of us to take the place of anyone else, just come back here. Here we go, this is where we've been told about it. Really? If you'll come with us, Captain, we'd be honoured. Vise, make sure you're well prepared before you head in there. You should never rush into a fight. Oh, we're not well prepared, but we're going in anyway. I'll, I'll go against Gilda's advice. Yep, back to Shrine Island. It'd be good if we got healed after that boss, just for the sake of convenience. But what do you reckon? No, no. Okay, let's heal up though anyway. Uh, one more. There we go. Her MP's starting to run low, but again, she's got to move to sort that out. Anyways, so what we're going to be doing next is heading into Shrine Island. So. Ugh. So, <laughs> oh, is this automated? It is, isn't it? Okay, we'll carry on for a little bit longer then. We'll do the ship battle first. Actually, it's good to get it out of the way anyway. You know? Guess they were a little bit. Yeah, it was going too smoothly. I agree. Right, we'll kick things off with a moon cannon. No, do I really? Moon cannon last. And by you, we'll go for. A an increm. Um, otherwise, I think defending is probably a good shout, just SP wise. No, wait. Focus with it, defend with it. It's only a little thing. I bet it'll go down quick. Wow, more damage than I thought from it. Good. <laughs> As if I didn't make it focus. It'll be good to see what the moon, how much damage the Moonstone Cannon does, though. It should be tons. Jet beam. I was only driving. I was only flying a little bit towards Shrine Island just to get it closer so we could save and finish. <laughs> I didn't expect a ship battle. Just out of nowhere, seemingly. I wonder if it'll be hard to hit this guy, though. That was a lot less damage. It was about half. That's good. Oh, yeah. We must be on the red. The red square. At least his attacks are quick. I like that. Here it comes. Moonstone cannon. Fire! Oh, moon cannon. Sorry. Oh, whoa! Down in one! Jesus! <laughs> I knew... I didn't think we'd have much health. Bloody hell. We're still going. Cinematic style. Oh, no, that is it. <laughs> it just kept going. Complete kit, sparkling deck, moon gun. I think that's probably it. No, we'll have a look now, I'm not sure. 
That was good. It was. It seemed a bit pointless, but we. Ah, he made us land as well. That's good as well. Um. Okay, let's check out the Delphinus then, equipment wise. So, is a new 12 inch cannon, which I feel like is really a bit shit by this point, so it'll be nice to see. X cannon? It was. Mm, hold on a sec. Was it two? I can't quite remember what the name of it was, but. Moon gun. Ah, we got another. Ah, it was moon gun, wasn't it? Oh, Christ. Okay. Secondary cannon relies on moonstone energy instead of draining spirit. Right, good. Let's get rid of the 12 inch cannon for it then. That's a big improvement over what we had. Because I, I don't think I've been buying them, so. There we go. We got something. Uh, oh, yeah. We also got that. Is it like a new defensive thing? It is. Wow! Improved ship defense. You don't say. Wow. Let's have a little look around a sec. Because magic defense. High defensive power for... Bloody hell. That's a hell of an increase. For, for a couple of things. Yeah, you're, you're getting on there. Just wow. Okay. So we're going to end things off there. This has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in a bit when we head on into Shrine Island. And I'm pretty sure it'll be quick before we get on to the next dungeon. The last dungeon. Thanks again for watching, folks. See you again in a bit.